Yeah, good morning. Well, the purpose is to modernize the language in our laws, so it's all part of an overhaul on how the state should handle patients with sexually transmitted diseases like HIV or other bloodborne pathogens. Lawmakers are saying Washington laws regarding these diseases were put into place during the height of the AIDS epidemic decades ago when little was known about it and many people were dying within a year of being diagnosed. Since treatment has improved and there is now medication to protect people from getting the disease, many thought it was time the law reflect, reflected these changes as well. The bill introduced by Representative Lori Jenkins was debated on the floor just yesterday before it passed. Some were against certain language in the bill that would remove the Class A felony for intentional HIV exposure or transmission. The new law now creates a misdemeanor for a person who has sexual intercourse without notifying their partner that they have HIV. Stop this amendment. This will take us back to where the current statute. And for those times when this is intentionally done under these circumstances that I've described, I believe it is, it protects the public from the people who would do that. Um, this amendment increases stigma against people, people who have HIV and does the opposite um, of, of what we heard from the last speaker. It in fact makes our communities more unsafe. Among the many things the bill does, it also outlines how health officials would investigate these cases, notify the public, and keep the person from infecting others as well as protect a patient's privacy. It also allows minors age 14 and up to get treatment to avoid getting HIV without having to get a parent's consent. So the bill passed 57 to 40 yesterday and now moves on to the Senate. From the newsroom, Kiara L. Fallen, King 5 News.